From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top story is a busy last weekend of the month for police. Three murders to investigate. They're looking into a stabbing incident and the death of a man in Andros. Police are trying to determine if there's any connection, but two of those murders happen outside the same house on First Street, the Grove, here in the capital, 24 hours apart. And the victims are related. A man and a woman were shot there on Thursday night. Then Friday night, a car pulled up to the same house. Three men got out, fired gunshots at a group of people gathered outside. A woman was hit. It was fatal. She's been identified by relatives as 27-year-old Shavona Adley. The man shot at the same address earlier, identified by relatives as Gladstone Francis, and he was her uncle. Police are now trying to put the pieces together. They're still looking into that Peardale shooting incident from Thursday afternoon. It left a man dead and a woman in hospital. The stabbing incident in Grand Bahama. Police there are not sure of the circumstances, but the victim is a man now in hospital with multiple stab wounds. The police involved shooting incident appears to be unintentional. Officers on routine patrol, they say, in the Grove area, they tried to stop a man in a car that was speeding. He didn't stop. They chased him. He abandoned the vehicle, fled on foot. Police gave chase. He reached for something in his waistband. They opened fire. The suspect not hit, but a woman in the area was hit in the leg. She's been treated already. Police have the suspect in custody, and they say they found a pistol on him. Standard investigations are underway. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Police are treating it as a traffic fatality they found out about later than usual. The decomposed body of a man found in a car that was overturned in bushes in the Bowen Sound area in Andros. Investigations continue. 76 total confirmed coronavirus cases reported for the three-day weekend period ending Saturday. 30 on Thursday, 7 on Friday, 39 more on Saturday, 62 of them in the capital. Grand Bahama and Eleuthera, the other islands, reporting confirmed cases for that period. The hospital numbers remain steady, 36 persons still in with four in the ICU. The death toll remains at 245. No additional deaths reported during the period. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune Thank You Weather Update, a service of insurance management. There's a low-pressure system to the north. It'll send some weather into the area. Partly sunny showers will develop. Highs in the upper 80s, 87 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Mostly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. Showers will be around. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader, 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, the Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headlines the death toll from that Florida condo collapse now at 9, with still more than 150 persons not accounted for. The search effort continues, but officials are losing hope that they'll find anyone else alive. Major heat wave hitting the northwestern part of the U.S. and Canada. It's going to last well into the week. Record setting triple digit temperatures for those areas again today. A heat warning is in place. More concern about the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. It showed up in enough numbers in parts of Australia to prompt officials there to put two week lockdowns in place. The WHO says this variant could be a problem down the road. Tribune's gas track of prices to start the week no changes. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubis $5.01 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Track and field in the spotlight over the weekend. The Nationals. Shawnee is home. So good. I haven't been home in a little while and so I'm, yeah, I've been eating a whole bunch, but you know, it's just always a pleasure to be back home and I mean, you know, it's paradise. Read about what she and others did at the Nationals. Find out who qualified for the Olympics in swimming. This is your Major League Baseball update. The latest on Jazz and the Marlins. DeAndre Ayton, one win away from the NBA Finals. Find out what he did in the latest Suns victory over the Clippers. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.